What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome, good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcut. I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you, so we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so, we're going to... What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. And I want to give a big shout out to all the fathers out there for Father's Day. And if they're not acting like they're supposed to be as fathers, big shout out to other mothers stepping up to be those fathers too. Yep. And vice versa for all you dads stepping up to be those mothers on Mother's Day. If the mother's not around or is not uh, doing what they're supposed to be doing, right? It happens. And it does happen, you know. So big shout out to everybody out there and celebrating their day um, with their family members and loved ones. All right. So... Our topic today is uh, where to get your advice from on your relationship, okay? Now, obviously, you guys can tune to Cupid's Corner every Sunday because we're going to give you the best advice there is. Duh. Okay. <laughs> All right. But, you know, if, if you can't tune in on Sunday or you've tuned in every show and there might be questions that you need to be answered, where do you go? Okay? And there's, there's some easy ones, I think, that people will rattle off. The first one... Uh, their friends, best friend, or their mom or dad, maybe. Mom or dad. Right? Yep. That's usually who they go to. Co a lot of times, coworkers end up getting the the brunt of it because they go to work. Ooh. Right? They Ooh. go to work, and then especially if it's a bunch of girls, I know this. A bunch of girls that work in an <laughs> office, right? And then just once, like, mm, no, 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 this guy, blah, blah, blah. and then oh, now you get to hear everybody's opinion. And usually, just so you guys know out there, it's not good for you. Yeah. Ever. Girls are always looking at the worst case scenario of their relationship and trying to project that onto you. Well, you know, you, you asked. So you ladies out there, be careful of that, all right? Because <laughs> Just be weary. I think women like a little bit more drama, drama than guys do, okay? So, you know, when you're over there and, you know, you're like getting your drink of water and everybody's huddled around there, just make sure you have in the back of your mind that it might not be the best advice to you, okay? <laughs> The next one out there I think people do is they go to Google. <laughs> Dr. Google. You know, Dr. Google will tell you everything. everything. Dr. Google has all the information in the whole wide world by a whole bunch of people that might be just giving their opinion. Yeah. So you might find some good things on there. You might find some bad things on there. So that might not be your best bet, but it could help in a couple of different circumstances. Okay? The next one, therapists. So people go to relationship therapists or their own therapists and they talk about some of the problems they're having in their relationship or a problem that they want to solve in their relationship. So this is just another avenue that they can go to, right? Um, but, you know, breaking all these things down, there might be some good and bad to each one, right? So, you know, you're going to have to decipher, is it really going to be good information that you're getting or bad information that might set you off, okay? Because, you know, these, these things can set other people off in different ways, right? Yeah. Something that you might not even be thinking about that one of these people or, or um, avenues, you know, give you the advice on, you're like, oh, my God, like, what are they doing now, you know, or, or I didn't even think about that. No, oh it'll God. just set you off, you know. it's the, I, I mean, I'd be lying if, I mean, me and him been together forever, right? <laughs> so I'd be lying if I told you any different, but somebody might have said something, and usually, like I told you, it was at work, and, you know, I'd go in there, complain about something, and they would say something that would set me off. You know what would happen? It would be terrible for John. This is terrible. See? This is terrible. This is way before Titan days. But I would start blowing his phone up. Like texting his phone, like da 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 da, and then this and this and this, and what about this? And then the, like he didn't even get a chance to answer. All I see is a little bit of bubbles, and he to unbubble, and then some bubbles, and then unbubble, and then I'm like, oh, change your mind now? What did you do? And not now I'm talking to myself, so now I'm just like psychotic, right? So I mean, this is just a very great real example yeah. of like what happens, you yeah. know? It just sets yeah. you off. So, I mean, when we're talking about these issues, because everybody, every relationship is going to have problems, right? They're going to they're gonna have some sort of speed bump they need to get over, you know? And at that point, you know, people need to find out, you know, what they should do to possibly make it better for the relationship or they can get over the speed bump very easily, right? 
So if you're talking to your parents or your siblings, right? Just remember this. Your siblings or your parents are probably going to be on your side majority of the time. Yeah. Because you're their baby. They don't want to see anybody do anything wrong to you. They don't want you upset or sad. They want to see you happy, right? Most of the time, the majority of the time. But at that point, you got to think like, all right, they're going to probably give me some good advice. Um, but, you know, I, you want to look for unbiased advice. I think that's the best thing, right? Yeah. And even if you're going into your coworkers, they're probably going to, like I said, if it's girls, they're probably going to throw some more drama on there. No, they're just probably going to just give you the worst case scenario. Yes. Which is never good. And if they, they've been hurt or scorned. Scorned. They're going to just project that on you, oh, too. Oh, the yeah. scorned ones. You know, the, the girls, yeah, that have been cheated on or has somebody messed them over pretty bad. Like, oh, no. They're the worst. I wonder, Guys are the I worst. wonder what yeah. he's doing right now. Yeah. Oh, do you and know what now, he's doing? Now you're here. You can't even, you won't even be able to know because you're here. <laughs> You know what, guys? I got to clock out real quick. I got to go on a lunch break. I got to FaceTime this guy. See where he's at. There was Show no me. FaceTime back then. 360. Oh, oh, it's good now, though, right? FaceTime. Yeah, FaceTime will definitely do it. And if they're pinned up against a white wall, you go, hey, listen, why don't you turn around with that phone a little bit? It's usually, that's a trick that guys will do. They'll go into a bathroom. They'll have a white wall in back of them. They'll get on FaceTime. I know because some of my friends tell me this. And, and, and they'll, they'll talk to them, and they're just at this white wall. So like, hey, where you at, honey? Uh, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm over here. And I'm just, I, I stepped outside, or I'm yeah. in a real quiet area yeah, so I, I can listen to, to you. You. Yeah. you know, I don't want anything. <laughs> so watch out for that one. Uh, for therapists, all right? So some people go to therapists. And therapists are a good way for people to be able to talk to them and release some of these different questions that they have to try to get some really, really unbiased answers. Because a therapist really doesn't know you or doesn't know your partner, right? Um, so they might give you some good information. And there's a lot of therapists out there that have done wonders for a lot of different people and helped them through a lot of different problems. So I'm not knocking therapists at all. But therapists are people just like us, right? No matter what their title is. They're a doctor, they're a lawyer, they're a police officer. They still been they're through stuff like us too. Or they're still going through stuff yeah. like you. Yeah. You know, it, it, what if the therapist has been divorced two or three times? Because I know therapists like that. Yeah. How are they going to give you the best advice? Because they went through school. all the negative stuff? or no, school. <laughs> or, or school, yeah. The, bu the book told you them know? what to tell you? You know, yeah, or they're doing different exercises with you or whatever it is, you know. So you you got to look at that aspect too. Like make sure like, you know, you're looking through this information or when you're hearing this information, you're you're kind of taking the carving good parts out. out of it, carving out yeah. some of the parts of it. You know, and l let me just give you an example. Oh, my God, he started reading this. And this, oh this isn't from a therapist. This is from Dr. Google. The, Dr. Google. So this is for women. I'm just like, all right, so what, what do women do if they really want to Google somebody <laughs> or Google something that's going to help their relationship? And this was how to make him miss you. Okay, these right? are great topics, guys. So these are great, there was great. eight different things that they covered in this. Terrible. One was don't be available 24-7. Now, guys, if you do that, this is not going to be good for you. Definitely not going to be good. This is not going to be good for All you. All right? Because it's going to be like, you know, where are you, where are you at? What are you doing? You're like, oh, I'm sorry. I can't talk to you right now. Like, okay. Like, why? He'll go do something else. All right? He, he might think of like, okay, well, I guess I'm just going to do whatever the hell I want then too, right? Yeah. The next don't one do was, that. don't be the first one to message first. You can message him all the time. <laughs> <laughs> The next you one can is, message him every time first. Look your best when you see him. Look your best all the time. So try to look your best all the time, right? Okay, no, but this goes both ways, though, guys. He better love you when you're waking up right out of that bed with, you know, no makeup on, your hair in a bun, looking all sorts of crazy. Okay? Oh, no. Oh, no. Yes, he needs no. to love you like that, just like that, too. They better get up early, guys, right? This is, this is, and wait, go wait. get ready while you're put, sleeping. Put on an apron, right? too, right? And cook you, exactly. cook you breakfast. Put on the apron naked. <laughs> Do the makeup, do the hair, get your ass back in bed like you were sleeping still, right? And then you'll be fine. The alpha. <laughs> the next one is have a great day and tell him about it. Okay? Well, why don't you ask him about his day too as well? Yeah, okay? goes both ways. does go both ways. Speak with your body. So I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means either. Okay, but if, I mean, if, if you're you... trying to have sexy body language, I guess that's okay. Okay, so that's a good one. Um, okay. Mirror him. I really don't understand that one either. Were they just trying to be alike? 
I mean, me and him are alike, but we don't try. We don't try. That should come natural. That does right? come natural. Um, open up to him. Now, I think this that's is a, good a big one. one. I think, I think, think that's a, a really good one. You know, people need to talk. Hey, and listen, when they do open up to you, please do not judge them or like you know make them feel like they can never ever open up to you again because that yeah. will that will yeah. happen. So th- this one's all right too, I guess. Encourage him to spend time without you. So this is a big <laughs> no-no. Okay, this is this is like a total no no for me, right? Because I spent all my minutes with John, right? Uh, yeah. It's really weird. So I'm not going to compare myself to anyone normal out there, but I wouldn't encourage him to not spend time with you. Yeah, that that kind of opens up Pandora's box, right? Yeah, it's like, hey, go do something. If else. you're encouraging him not to spend time with you, it's going to uh, probably open up to more time getting not spent with you. And then he's going to be like, well, you're the one that told me not to spend time with you. Yeah, I'm and going gonna, out with the boys. Then you're going to be mad that he's not spending time with you. Right. And then you're going to get upset. And then yeah. you're going to be texting him a lot. Or you're going to be yep. texting him first. And then you're going to be available 24-7 because you're going to be waiting for him to text you back. Okay? And <laughs> no, then you're probably not going to look your best because you're ripping your hair out. You know what it is, Makeup though? smear because you're crying. Listen, wait, wait, wait. Mascara is all down your face. Listen, me and John played this this game, okay? <laughs> I, okay, don't let don't, don't Dr. Google fool you or Dr. John over here, right? That's right. Dr. But, John. But we played the game too, you know, and he would be like, will you stop playing games? Like, you know, because I, I would, you know, I'd be like, all right, fine, I'm going to do this because I, I would set it up where I would want something. So I would set it up a specific way where I would get what I want, right? Yeah. Because I'm smart. Yeah. But it wasn't always the right thing to do. That's right. And John is not stupid. Right. So he would pick up on some of these things that I was doing to try to get it my way. Right. So he's like, can you please stop playing these stupid games? So this is where it comes to, you know, just black and white. Don't play games with your partner. Yeah. Just be straight up. Just be straight up. If you want more time from the guy, tell your guy. Talk to him. Just be honestly. Communication is key. We say this every single episode. But I'm telling you, you tell if you tell him what you want. Then you'll get what you want, and if you don't get what you want, then you have a reason to go step off and do whatever you need to get need to do to get what you want. Because it's like you're not going around the bush asking for what you want. You're saying, "Hey, listen, I want this, or I want more time with you, or da 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 da." This is 2021, okay? Right. We're not. This is not back in the day where a woman couldn't speak up and say, "Hey, this is what I want from you. Please help," okay? Just open your mouth and have a conversation with him, and you'll see how far it gets you. Versus trying to play these games where it's like, I'm not going to text him back for hours and see if he misses me a lot. You know, it's just, it's kind of, it's dumb. It, you are opening yourself it's up dumb. for more issues It's because it's coming. I would, I would say communicate the best you possibly can. Try to resolve your issues with your partner before Internally, you go anywhere. If you can. You start involving other people in your relationship. You're going to get other opinions that might persuade you to do things that you might not have done. Mm-hmm. Okay. And this might cause other issues with relationship down the road, right? And your girlfriends or your co-workers at work, guys or girls, they might not be giving you the best advice. Mm -hmm. They might be jealousy relationship because they don't got their relationship or they don't got somebody that's treating them nice or whatever it is. They're like, oh, well, I don't have it. You don't have it. And they just scorn them. It's sad, okay? I've seen this quite a bit on both guys and girls because they want to spend, even guys, I want to spend more time with my guys. So, you know what? You don't need her around all the time. Why has she got to be around? Mm -hmm. Why they got to come hang out with us? This goes on a lot, right? And and at that point, it can cause some animosity. So you don't want that either. And then therapists, like I said, take it for what it's worth. Carve out the little information you could possibly get, maybe some exercises that might make the relationship better. But you know what? People are people, and they I can personally, make mistakes too. Me personally, if you ask me about therapists, I would personally say no. And the only reason I say that is they can start pinning you guys against each other where you may not have had that pinning. So if you can try to resolve it internally, try your very best. Try to communicate. Try try. Try to not maybe communicate while each other, you guys are mad at each other. Wait till, wait till the cool down process happens and then just maybe try to catch a conversation on the off wind. Yeah, <laughs> that usually usually works a lot better than in the moment or maybe even like the same day. So don't let it bottle up either. You know, just try to let it out as you can. I Absolutely. mean, that's the best way that we can tell Absolutely. you. So these are just some of the tips and tricks for me and Sharice to hopefully help your guys' relationship or your future relationship, or whatever it is. So if you guys are having problems, try to talk it out, do the right thing, and uh, don't follow everything you find on Google. Dr. Google doesn't know Or everything. your friends, or your coworkers, 
or even therapists, all right? <laughs> so just do what's right, and usually things will work out. Yeah. So I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we appreciate you guys tuning in for another Cupid's Corner. We're here every Sunday, 11 a.m. for you guys. If you miss us, make sure you check out YouTube. Just type in Tight Medical Center. You'll see all the great episodes from Cupid's Corner and a lot more. I will thank you guys for tuning in one more time. I appreciate you guys, and we'll see you next week. See you next week.